I don't know what strikes me about our era is how hard it is to end your career unless you are in certain vocations and politics may be one of them. But if you're like, you know, if you're a singer or you're a lot of things, it seems to me you can, I mean, look at Elon Musk. Of course, he's got, he's the richest person in the world. That helps. But that guy said more crazy shit than, you know, and he's gotten in trouble with the specific interest groups and has seemed to cozy up to anti-Semites and has done this uh -huh. and that. And and he's still he's he's more powerful than ever. My other thinking, uh, my other crazy idea was uh, looking at the trouble that this guy Mark Robinson, who is the, I think that's his name, the candidate for governor of North Carolina, who went on a website and said, you know, and then the, the 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 choice quotes are he, you know, he said he said he was a black Nazi and all mm -hmm. these. Uh, he, he, he was interested in transgender porn. Why doesn't he get woke points for the transgender porn? I think that's admirably open-minded of him. But um, you should write anyway, he, all these crazy sort of subterranean impulses came out on social media. And I'm thinking of, think of all the people who, uh, who we, we actually admire today, who contributed a lot to society, who probably, if given the chance to embarrass themselves on social media in this way, would have, and the one that comes to mind immediately is Lou Reed. Because think of all the things that Lou Reed actually put in his songs that are close to being this disqualifying level. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you read the biographies of the Velvet Underground, there supposedly are things there that I couldn't stomach if I, you know, if I read them. Uh, obviously, Lou Reed was a protean guy who would have said incredibly embarrassing things. And if, if luckily he didn't live in an era when he could have posted them online and ended his career. Uh, uh, I mean, it's, I don't know that it ends your career. The crazy psychotic geniuses. I don't know what strikes me about our era is how hard it is to end your career unless you are in certain vocations and politics may be one of them. But if you're like, you know, if you're a singer or you're a lot of things, it seems to me you can, I mean, look at Elon Musk. Of course, he's got, he's the richest person in the world. That helps. But that guy said more crazy shit than, uh, you know, and he's gotten in trouble with the specific interest groups and has seemed to cozy up to anti-Semites and has done this uh -huh. and that. And, yeah. and he's still, he's, he's more powerful than ever. I can't think, I'm sure there are things in the music world. There, there's, there's, uh, in the entertainment world, there's Roseanne Barr, who said a borderline racist thing and got kicked off the only successful show that television has had in the last decade, yeah. thereby destroying the show. Um, that's That was unbelievable. Uh, I'm sure you've had singers say crazy things. I think that the guy from Pink Floyd has sort of damaged his career with various uh, I think Roger Waters. Things, I don't know, Waters. Uh, there's uh, uh, you know, I mean, he's, he's uh, very critical of Israel and is very reckless in the way he puts things. I would there's, say that. Um, there's that. There's the guy who uh, tried that in a small town guy. I forget what that guy's name is. He would have been canceled, except he's found a, a you know a niche woke audience, so he's doing okay. Oh, he's gone woke. Um, Has he gone woke? An unwoke. No, he's gone. He's gone unwoke. I'm a Trump or fuck you woke is trying to cancel me. Yeah, Try that in a small. Um, there's, uh, the Dixie Chicks will be the example on the other side. Uh, they, but, I mean, they, they, their career was badly, badly hurt. I'm well, they clear. antagonized a specific constituency. Yes. Uh, the, um, to be the constituency for but I mean, music. look at all the people who have come back from say. cancellation. Mark Halpern seemed dead, dead, dead. Um, but he, he it wasn't because Jeffrey Tubin, I just saw Jeffrey Tubin. Uh, what interviewed on Andrew Sullivan's podcast and in various other places. And uh, I don't know. It seems that in a certain sense, it seems like decades ago, cancellation, though, though maybe rarer was more permanent. Um, I don't know if, if, if Tubin had gone on a website and said he was a black Nazi, I don't think he would have survived. But um, yeah, Cause he's not black. I, Nobody would have bought that. I have, I have a question. Of, yeah, go ahead. I have the same, remember that, I have I have the same attitude toward Tubin as Marty Paris had when somebody said Allard Lowenstein is his worst, own worst enemy. And Marty's Marty supposed to say, not while I'm alive. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, 
So um, wait, so Mark Robinson. We're still, work, we're still working on Tubin. Uh, I think the key thing is to turn tubinating into into a known verb. That that agree. Yeah, like at the beginning of every podcast, I would issue the warning to any males. If it's with a male, I would say, remember, no tubinating. I think. Um, I, I agree. I'm, I'm critically. Um, anyway. My, so I have a question about Mark Robinson. How is this supposed to damage Trump? Is it that it will like suppress Republican turnout or is it that like blacks who might not have voted at all or might have voted Republican will be so outraged that they'll vote for for the uh, Democratic governor and while they're there vote for Kamala or what? What is what is it suppresses turnout and also they hope to tie Trump to him, which uh -huh. is sort of implausible. Because he said all sorts of nice things about him. But uh, I think mainly it suppresses his turnout. Okay. Um, it's annoying because the, the, the James Fallows caricature of Mark Halpern and all these shows is, you know, they all, they all, it all comes down, they always say it's all about turnout, which is like a total cliche. And in fact, it always, in this case, it, it is all about turnout. So.